Don't miss out on our new videos by subscribing Logic Heap and pressing the bell icon. Hello friends, welcome to Logic Heap. In the last tutorial, we saw how we can compare algorithms using processor operations. That was part 1 where we discussed linear search. So the problem statement was a sorted array and we need to search for the value. We have taken 5 as an example. In this tutorial, we are continuing to do the comparison. This time the algorithm that we are going to use is binary search. So earlier when we did linear search, we created this table. This contains the input size and the number of processor operations. So let's do it with binary search and then let's compare both the algorithms. So here we have binary search. Firstly, we'll talk about the algorithm. How does it work? And then we'll calculate the processor operation. So initially n is 10. To binary search, we are passing these things. Firstly, the array. This is our array. Leftmost index. So this is the memory representation of it. These are the indices. Now the leftmost index is denoted by L. Okay, L initially is 0, we will pass L as 0 and R as 9. Okay, so L is 0, R is 9 and X is the value to be searched which is 5 in our case. We come in this function, firstly we compare values of L and R and we start a loop. While L is less than equals to R, we are going to run this loop. So initially L is 0 and R is 9, so we'll we'll go inside this loop. So binary search by the name understand binary means two. Okay, so we'll divide this array in two parts. From where we'll divide from the middle index. So firstly we'll find the middle index L plus R by two zero plus nine by two. So it is going to give you four. So initially M is four. Okay. Then we check at index 4. What is the element? 200. So AM, AM, is it equals to X? So X is 5. They are not equal. Now consider this thing that this is a sorted array. So all the elements after 200 are going to be greater than 200. So of course they will be greater than 5 as well. So 5, if it is there in this array, then it must be in the left part because it is lesser than 200. Okay, so if 5 can be here, then it must be in this part only. Okay, so now instead of considering this complete array to search, can we consider only this small portion? This is binary search. Every time we shrink our array. Okay, so now L is this, but R now, what should R be? R should be this. Okay, it is 3. See programmatically how we have done. Firstly, we found the middle element. Then we compared it with x. Okay. So it is not equal. If it would have been equal, we would have returned m. We return the index every time. Okay. Then we check if am is less than x. No. In our case, am, which is 200, is greater than 5. So we will come in the else portion and we shrink r. Okay. We move the right index to 3. How? m minus 1. m was 4. 4 minus 1, 3. So l is now 0 and r is 3. Okay. Now this is your array. Again you will enter in this loop because 0 is less than equals to 3. Then again you will find the middle element. So now this is not m, this is not r. Now you will find the middle element here. 0 plus 3 by 2 going to give you 1. So this is your middle element. Now you will compare 30 with 5. 30 is greater. So if 5 is to be present in this array, it must be in the left side. So now how much array you need to search for? Only this portion. Now here only one element is left. How we did it programmatically? M came 1, L plus R by 2. Then we compared the values. And then in this, if we came and am is less than x, no, am in fact is greater, 30 is greater than 5. So, we will come in the else portion and r becomes m minus 1. m was 1, so r becomes now 0. So, l is 0, r is also 0 now. Do we need to enter in this loop again? Yes, 
we run it till less than equals to. So it is equals to, we'll enter in this loop, m is 0 plus 0 by 2. So m is again 0. Now you compare 10 with 5. They are not equal. So we'll come in this condition if am is less than x. False. So we'll go to else. r is now 0 minus 1. r now becomes 1. Sorry, minus 1. So this condition now becomes false. Then you come out of it and then return minus 1 because we didn't find this value. So this is binary search. Every time we are comparing it with the middle element, if they are equal, we will return the index of the middle element. If they are not equal, we will see we need to move to the left or to the right. Accordingly, we will change our L or our R. Clear? Let's see how many processor operations it is taking at each line. So here there is one processor operation. Here we have one, two and three processor operation. Here equals two, so one processor operation. Then we will not come to this return, but still it is a one processor operation. AM less than X, one processor operation. Plus and assignment, two processor operation. Here also two operations. Return is one processor operation. Now, now let's see each line how many times it is going to run. So this line we just saw initially L was 0, R was 9, one time. 0 and r was 3 2 times when l and r both were 0 3 times and when r became minus 1 so 4 times this line ran for 4 times so now these lines are inside this while loop this while loop was true for 3 times okay so each line will run for 3 times only if it will run so this line ran for 3 times this comparison happened for 3 times we didn't enter here because the value was not present. We check the condition this three times. And every time we came in this else part, so three times. Okay. So, and this return finally one time. So, when you will add all of these four plus three into three, nine plus three plus three into one, plus 3 into 2, 6, plus 1 into 1. Okay, so if you will add all of these, 13 plus 6, 19, 25 plus 1, 26. In total, it took 26 processor operations to, to run this when n was 10. So when n was 10, it was 26. Similarly, as I... Uh, as I computed values for n is equals to 10, I computed processor operation for 100, 1 lakh and 10 crores. The results were 50, 130 and 210. You can also try to run for these values. Now our ultimate goal was to compare it. So let's see. For 10 crores, a binary search is taking 210 processor operation. While our linear search is taking 30 crores plus 3 operations. So which algorithm is better which is taking less processor operations? So binary search is better when you have sorted array. Okay, so that's how we can compare algorithms. So that was about how to compare algorithms. Now in the next tutorial, we will start with time complexity. But I request to complete all the previous videos because they provide the solid base to make you understand what is time complexity. The most important thing you need to understand is the relation between processor operation and input size. Thank you.